Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here we are. It's 2018 and I haven't I haven't seen you yet this year. Can you believe it? This is ridiculous. So, um, not gonna lie, I had to hustle my butt and uh, get this video up because things are happening in the YouTube community, if you are aware. Um, a lot of us are really close to losing, I can't speak because I haven't spoken to you in so long. A lot of us are very close to losing our YouTube partnerships, so um, yeah, that lit a fire under my butt, I must tell you straight up, and I had to get to filming. So here we are, um, I played in glitter before I got on here, so if for some reason you see another video where there's glitter and camouflage and my husband sneezing in the background, it's because I'm filming two or five videos in one night. So the first video you guys voted on, just to cut cut to what you came for is an ipsy unbagging um yeah an unbagging meaning i haven't opened it yet okay i, I opened it already we're going to talk about what's inside my ipsy bag and if i think it's worth the ten dollars a month i do personally pay for um so i'm subscribed not only to ipsy but i'm also subscribed to sephora Glam bag. So if you're interested in watching those, that's something I actually can film pretty easily. So if you guys still wa like watching unbaggings, Ipsy and Sephora are kind of the ones that are a surprise to me. I get a lot of, uh, what do you call it, previews from BoxyCharm. So um, without further ado, let's do this thing. I, I didn't do my hair, you guys. I didn't do my hair. And also, I'm just confused on the depth perception of camouflage because it's like I look gigantic but my head looks really small. Uh, we're opening it up to find the card and it says I will conquer. You can't read it because it's just too white. It says I will conquer in a blank so you can fill it in. So I'm going to write I will conquer the 2,000 minutes I need. 2,000 something minutes. 3,000 something minutes I need watch time on YouTube so I can keep my YouTube partnership. So keep watching and if you want to watch other unbaggings I did in the past, they're here on my channel. I did do them once before. Alright, so let's get into it. The first product I got, I've actually already had a full size of, so this will be great to throw into a giveaway or travel bag. I travel nowhere, so giveaway it is. That sanding or vacuuming noise you hear, that's my husband. Really trying to be good parents. My son has a Pinewood Derby in two days, and we're just now carving his car. It's 11 o'clock at night. Parenthood. I already have a full size of this. It's the Pure Lease. This is a preventative mask. It's the Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask Plus Exfoliant. It says it gently resurfaces, detoxifies, brightens, tightens, and smooths. It's a 10 minute facial. I really appreciate those. I love like um, sheet masks and masks that I don't have to keep on very long. The sheet mask I don't mind like having lay on my face but as far as like a mask that I'm gonna have to wash off the quicker the better because I don't want to be waiting around because I know I have to wash it off you know what I mean. Um, so this one I definitely it definitely gently resurfaces and my skin feels smooth after it doesn't feel tight. Um, it kind of has this like squeaky clean effect for me which I don't Sometimes I don't love that because it feels kind of drying in a way. Um, obviously, this doesn't say that it's going to hydrate, so I definitely follow with a heavier moisturizer after I do this mask. But I do find that it at least exfoliates and it smooths. Brightening, I never really, like, I do brightening masks. I never see a difference. It's probably because I clog my pores with makeup <laughs> shortly thereafter and or I put self-tanner on my face, so... It's going to be a shade of tan and or just, I don't know, I just don't know if it's brightening. It's just me. So the next thing I got that I haven't used, just to be honest, is this Andalou Naturals. It's new. Andalou Naturals uh, Argan Oil and Shea Styling Cream for flexible hold. It says apply evenly to damp hair, gently comb through, dry naturally, or style blow dry. I don't know what this is at all. We can at least smell it together. Let's smell it together. I'm kind of hesitant ever to use hair care. Obviously I just don't use hair care ever. Um, no I do. But when I do, I have what I like. It smells like vanilla. And 
that's something I definitely am not interested in putting in my hair. I will say this is a good deluxe size sample because there's more than one opportunity to try it inside of this bottle, so that's nice. Um, I've definitely like done my fair share of reviewing Ipsy products and not liking smaller samples, so it is nice that it is a deluxe size because you can kind of give it a shot um, for a while. So I might try this out, and uh, if I end up loving it, you're going to find out. But if I don't, you might find out too because I could do a regrets video. Let's talk about something I actually have on my face, which would be the City Color Contour Palette. This, these palettes, this, okay. How am I gonna put my words in my mouth? What I do have on my face is the City Contour Palette. Um, these palettes are nice. It's a little small to use a big brush with, so I kinda had to get creative and figure out what brush am I gonna use so that I'm not dipping into this highlight. And I'm getting into that center color because I used that as my bronzer color today. Um, not going to lie. I topped it off with Benefits Hula just because it wasn't deep enough. And it really runs orange. So you got to be careful. This contour color, however, didn't do me too wrong. I have it on my nose. And I think it looks, looks not too shabby. The highlight I did not use. It's a nice highlight. Um, I will show you right here. Man, it's been like a year and a half since I've done a swatch on my hand. Get with the program. It is white. If you have translucent skin, it's for you. I don't, I don't know. Or it's a baking, I don't know. I don't know that that's even a highlight, but I just steered clear of that. Forget that that's even in there. It's pretty much chalky and useless. Um, just being blunt. Um, little too orange, kind of almost cool. It's a nice cool tone. This was good. Um, I enjoyed that. So, ee, together, they may make more magic than they do separately. Um, but anyway, it is a highlight, by the way. It says it right on the back. Um, it is cruelty-free, so that's kind of cool. And it's made in the U.S. No, it's not. It's made in China. Cool. Smells weird. <laughs> this product's really not, like, winning me over. Can you tell? Um, it smells weird. It, remem it remembers me. It's... Sorry. It really reminds me of childhood cheap makeup that you could buy, I don't know where, in the toy aisle. It, that's what it smells like. But it performs okay. I don't know that it would last all day, but for this video, I don't hate it. The next product that we have I actually own is the Ciate Fierce Flix Liquid Liner. I don't wear liquid liner. I quit wearing liquid liner the day I turned 30. There's no reason that you can't wear it after 30. I just literally stopped doing wings. I've hooded lids. Wings just don't make sense on my face. I've tried it. I recently tried it, and I was like, yeah, duh. I was right and not ever doing this again. It doesn't look good on me, personally. I don't think it looks good. You may think it looks good on me, but I don't feel comfortable. So as far as liquid liner goes, not going to use it. Not going to use it. It's fine. They don't know that I quit using it. Um, and also it's kind of awesome for me as a blogger to get things that I can do giveaways with. So, um, as a subscriber, it's not useful, but I have friends, luckily. So the final thing that I got, I haven't opened. This is for, um, Seraphin Botanicals. This is the Raisin and Cream Long Lasting Creamy Lip Stain. Um, it just didn't, I already put like a bunch of cranberry type colors on my eyes and I was like, uh... I don't think that's a good idea. So, um, I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand instead. Let's stain the hand. Staining the hand. This color is, I don't know, it's nice. It's like that 90s color that's like super popular right now, I would say. With a lot of, it's pulling, like it has a lot of orange tones actually underneath. And it's not, I know this is a color... Although I just swatched it. I'm probably not going to wear. I have a lot of lip... Dang it. <laughs> I have a ton and ton and ton and ton of lip products that I don't use. And I'm actually still buying lip products. And girl, don't you think I forgot for one second to tell you what is on my lips. Because I, I almost died, honestly. Um, so I don't think I'll be using that. It... We'll see. We'll see. It, I don't know. I just have my go-tos. I have like a thousand lip products. That's not a joke, but I only use like 20 of them. 
um, which 20 seems ridiculous. Anyway, what is on my lips is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Bear With Me and the Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. This is, this is it. This is, if you like lip gloss, that's it. That's all you need. That's all you need for the rest of your adult or childhood life. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Maybe I should tell myself not to film after 11 o'clock at night, but look at that. We're trying to win YouTubes. So to be honest and fair, because I want to be, you know, telling you the truth here on my channel, I wasn't impressed this month with my Ipsy Glam bag. The bag is cute, cool. I don't really like use those often. Um, maybe I'll try really hard to figure out a way to utilize that. Maybe it's a good beach bag, something I can throw in the beach bag um, for like lip stuff or something. Um, it's just not a bag I was excited about. I can put the Ciate uh, liquid liner in a giveaway, and I can also put the Pure Lease, which is, you know, a mask I use into a giveaway too, so that you guys can enjoy it, since I maybe won't have a chance or won't use. So, um, yeah, this month was a little underwhelming, but we'll see what next month brings. If you would like me to unbox it, unbag it, it's a bag, unbag it, on my channel let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching you guys i've totally missed you this video is just definitely all over the place but come back for more because i'm probably going to film another one right now um yeah you guys it's 2018 what are we doing we're making videos this is fun so if you haven't followed me on instagram and you're new here subscribe for sure because there's more coming at you and uh if you don't follow me on Instagram, that's down in the description bar below. Um, I post more over there and you can find me on Instagram stories, blah, blah, blah. And also on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. You can subscribe to me, follow me there. And yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome week and I will see you really soon, probably in my next video. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.